love bugs is rising back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for the love and support that you give me each and every day as well as you giving yourself i know it's like it's no easy walk no easy day or no easy walk in the park basically for being us so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please go ahead and like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i'd love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just uh, tell me about your empathic gift. As well as you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information that you think a loved one or a friend truly needs to hear right now, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And also, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and showing love and support to me as well. I am greatly appreciate that. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation I'm listening to is called Meet Your Higher Self, Inner Awareness, Guidance, and Mental Clarity, Deep Sleep Meditation. I'll post that link in the description box below. Today, uh, my, my video is uh, Twin Flame 101, When God Needs Us to Put something down it's like lately oh my goodness y'all been doing so much light work it's not even funny for the last like 24 72 hours well no it's been for the past week i've been doing it you know i love what i do being able to help people if i'm not doing emails i'm doing one-on-ones if i'm not doing one-on-ones i'm giving you video chats if i'm not doing video chats talking on the phone or you know texting and it's just like all of us are going through so many jacked up things lately and it's just like um we could be heading towards big and beautiful things and then all of a sudden you could be in a relationship and all of a sudden your relationship gets rocky um when you truly need somebody to support you you know in whatever way i'm not talking about like financially but it could be emotionally mentally even sexually or whatever um and you know you're heading towards bigger blessings and you constantly keep getting these signs you know i always look up my numbers and i used to roll my eyes at times you know because god always said you know bigger things are coming towards your way you know you know you got to let go of the old to bring in the new you know another door is closed you know the other one's about to open i just roll my eyes like you know what you've been saying this for the longest you know and i'm tired of hearing it because it was just like when you're when you're heading towards something you know you want something it's like you're not paying attention to little things that you're getting along that way you know you're waiting for this big thing to come but you have to be able to be grateful for the little things that has you know has stopped in your life or you know if powers that be god or whoever you you serve um they feel like if you're not grateful for the little things that come in they're like okay well shoot sally or henry's not grateful for you know the little things he got you know he, he could have been you walking down the street and you found a ten dollar bill yeah you might need more money in it but you got to be grateful it's ten dollars more than what you got <laughs> you know or you you were uh you were stressed out about wondering how you gonna pay this bill next thing you know you got a letter in the mail saying they extended it for another two weeks and you know you still fussing about what you know you didn't have but it's just like you have to be grateful for those little things that keeps coming into your life and it's like you could be going through a situation you know with your significant other whether it's male or female you're like oh my gosh you know they're not spending time with me or you know i wish they would notice these little things or you know i wish we can do more of these things together but you know i keep saying stuff and they're not doing it you know what that's when god's trying to tell you you need to go ahead and leave that person at the door <laughs> you know they're trying to separate you you know, I went through that situation with my ex and I used to get so frustrated, especially when I first started this journey, when I first started making videos. I used to cry all the time because it's like, you know, I've been good to this person and, you know, I've been loyal. I approved all these things, but it was just like I was going out my way. But what is he going out his way to prove to you? Except nothing that he ain't supposed to be there. 
<laughs> that was all he was showing me he ain't supposed to be there. And, you know, and I know people, they'll sit up here and say, you know, Rosalind, I wish I never met this person. Or, you know, I even see it on some certain YouTube channels. Certain people say, you know, I wish I never met this person. I wish I never met that person. You should never say that because you have learned your lesson through people. You know, I just did a video about that the other day. You should never wish that you had met nobody because it's just like, yeah, they might have put you through trying time. You know, they might have stole stuff from you. Could have been, you know, cheating on you or, you know, uh, ran up the credit or whatever. You know, just did something to you, but you learn from that situation, whether it was good or bad. You know, people are coming to our life for a reason or a season. I, you know, I tell my children that sometimes, you know, I even tell y'all that, you know, sometimes we put lifetime expectation on seasonal people. And that's what happens, you know, with us being held because we're going to learn the hard way. Or we're always trying to prove ourselves wrong by investigating stuff. Stop investigating a whole lot of stuff because the more you investigate when they keep bringing them signs like stop, 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 and you keep going push, push, push. You can't be, you can't be upset when you get something that's thrown up in your face. When you're like, God, dog, you know, now look at the, look at this situation I'm in now. But those signs kept coming to you all the time about the things that you need to put down. Because if you want these bigger and better things that's coming off in your life, number one, you got to be grateful. I always wake up every morning. God, I'm grateful for this, this, that, this, and that. I try to do five things within the morning, five things during the afternoon, and five things during the, you know, until, you know, I close my eyes. Because they could be a lot worse than they are. You know, trying to do, you know, financial independence for myself. Things happen the way they happen. You know what I'm saying? It was just like I've had jobs where, you know, I did a really good job. Didn't, didn't call off or whatever, but just when they found out who I was related to, they gave me hell. They harassed me, even said little sexual, you know, things about my dad that I really wish I couldn't have heard. I'm just like, Lord, let me just die for a little while because just envisioning it, something like that just made my stomach turn. You know, just things like that. You know, I've really been put in positions like that. And it's just like, you know, you have better things coming towards your life, but you need to be able to put those things down that they ask you to put down. When they're trying to back you away from somebody, it's like, you know, I have friends leaving out my life left and right, or they start acting certain ways about me. And I'm just like, Dad, I know you for 10, 15 years, and all of a sudden you find out who I'm related to, and then you want to start showing your butt. Oh, okay. Now I start exiting them folks out of my life that, you know, somebody can call me, and I know good and well they ain't supposed to be in my life. I said, oh, hell no, I ain't about to answer the daggone phone, because either you trying to make me mad, or you trying to bring some drama to me, or you trying to just bring the, that vibe I definitely don't need in my life. So it's just like I, I block myself from folks like that. I block them away from me. You know, I see people that, you know, like a guy I used to talk to. Oh, hey, this is my new number. Okay, thank you. So I can go ahead and block that one too. You know, just get, just keep folks out of my life. being supposed to be there. I love my alone time. You know, whenever I'm able to help people and reach out, you know, a lot of people tell me, Rosalind, I don't like being by myself. You know, I used to be like that too. Say, so I don't like being alone with my thoughts because my thoughts would intimidate the hell out of me. But yet, I need to be able to be alone so I can see the things I need to reflect on to be able to heal myself. You know, it's sad when I can see somebody that can leave one person and get with another person, leave that person and get with another person. I'm like, stop doing that because you ain't healed from the last daggone relationship you were in. And you're bringing that new daggone, that old package to the new relationship. And that ain't going to work. Because it's like you're going to keep going through these things. You know, people shouldn't be with people just because they don't want to be alone. Because that's that means it's never going to work. And you're with that person for the wrong reasons. And they're probably with you for the wrong reasons. So it's just like, take that time to heal on yourself. Take that time to work for yourself. Work on yourself. Find out the things that you need to heal from. Find the things that you need to let go of. Stray away from. Part with. That's what I'm doing right now. There are sometimes, you know, negative situations pop back up in my head, knowing good and well. This is not happening to you anymore. So why are you still dwelling off of this stupid stuff? You know karma going to happen in its most amazing ways. Just pray for them, folks. And, you know, there's times, you know, I, like I told y'all, if you've been with me for a while and you know what I've been through, there's times I wish death on my family. But I'm just like, no, don't do that. <laughs> death is too good for them. Death is too good for them. I don't want them to go to jail. I don't want to do, you know, I don't want nothing to happen to them. Because I feel like whatever's going to happen to you is going to happen to you regardless. Just because what you put out, it comes back. That's why I said don't push no ugliness out on folks. Because you get that back and it seems like the positive people, the real positive people, that karma come back to you quicker than the ones that raising all the hell causing you to daggone karma. 
So don't don't do that. So you know when you got better things coming in your life, don't act sad. You don't think you know everything because you got to be blessed by everything that comes in your life. But when God asks you to put it down, higher power, universe, or whoever you pray to, ask you to put things down, and they showing people showing you their true faces, you better let them go. Let them go and keep on doing you because you know you got better things coming. You know when God asks you to put something down, he got something better for you to pick up. And you can't hold grudges against people because you, when you holding on to anger and, you know, resentment, you ain't got time for all these good blessings to come along. And I have to tell myself that every day. So don't think I'm telling you something I haven't been through it too because this is the reason why I make my videos. You know, just to let you know, we all have to go through these things. So allow yourself to heal, see the things you truly need to see, and be grateful for all the little things that come in your life. So when you do, be grateful about those little things, you will be able to get the big things. So I hope everybody was able to resonate with the content in this video. I hope y'all had a, a great weekend. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification button so you know when. I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line and let me know that you uh, subscribe. So I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. And I'm giving a post notification shout out to Diane Waite and Diamond King. Much love to you. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. So drop me a line. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Even share. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And go ahead and, you know, send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can as well. And you'll get more of it back as well. And I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.